Hi everyone and welcome to the Creation Station. You're catching me in the middle of doing some audio editing from my very talented friend Pedro Yaco, who is a brilliant Brazilian songwriter, singer and um, guitarist, beautiful guitarist. Uh, this is an applause um, thing I'm working on at the one at the end of one of his songs um, at the show and there's something, uh, there's an audience member I want to tell you about. Here's what happens the end of the song. Check this out. Wait. Well, you know, you've got these excited audience members that just have to whistle, you know, and it's not bad if they whistle once or twice during the show or even three times, but this guy has to whistle on every song up to five or six times. Just can't stop whistling. And you know, I have a certain feeling about that. You know, I think, you know, friends like that better stay home because they will cost you a lot of money editing it. <laughs> Anyways, but I want to, just kidding. What I wanted to show you is this software. I call it my voodoo machine. This is the, um, the call-up window of Isotope RX-7. I call it my voodoo machine because it can do things so seamlessly and flawlessly. I've never been able to do this before. I'm going to send, um, since it's a standalone application, it sort of has like a bridge out of Pro Tools. So I'm sending it to Isotope now with this button you call send. Watch what happens. And in that file, lo and behold, see right up there? That's our whistler, my favorite guy in the audience. So what we're going to do now is just circle around it. And then up here in the choices window, I can either attenuate, replace, and a couple of more options. The most important one are these two, attenuate and replace. I'm going to let Isotope RX, similar to rubber stamping in uh, Photoshop, take the surrounding audio and make sense of the hole that it will create. It interpolates audio into that spot as I'm erasing it. Watch. There you go. See, that's what's happening now. There's probably just a little left over here. Let me do a little bit more. Pretty good. Now, the next step, I have to send it back to the track, and then in this window here, in the call-up window, render it to the track. And I'll do the same thing with the DI. There's a microphone and the guitar DI are both, unfortunately, I should say, on one track. Otherwise, I could have made a studio recording out of this particular show. And Pedro is just brilliant. You love his music. Okay, here's the, the monophonic DI track carrying the guitar and the vocal mic, which in which you can hear the whistle even more prominently. It must have sat very close to the stage. And it's piercing. Uh, okay, now I'm going to use attenuate mode to just lower the volume of it and look what it does. So there's a little bit of space in here, but in the context of things, this is perfectly fine. Sending it back, rendering it, and now we're hitting playback. Can you still hear any of this? I can't. Isotope did a magnificent job. This is a software that is downright, um, as some of my engineer friends call it, voodoo. It's fantastic. It's Isotope, I-Z-O-T-O-P-E, and then R-X-7. And it's not cheap, but it's a lifesaver. You can't afford as an engineer not to have it. Anyways, that's it. A little check-in from the Creation Station. Please stay tuned for my friend Pedro Yacos, I-A-C-O, and then Pedro. Uh, out of Brazil. Stay tuned and, and look him up online. He's got some beautiful material coming our way here. This is a live concert at Espaço 91, which means Space 91 in Brazil. And uh, stay tuned for that. And I'm going to sign out from the Creation Station. Stefan Overhop, be well. And if you've got any audio editing to do, feel free to hit me up. I've got uh, good rates for that. All right, be well. Talk to you soon.